So welcome to my nemesis. This is the Harringworth Viaduct or the Welland Valley Viaduct as it's uh, also known. And yep, it's been my nemesis for a number of years because I've been wanting to photograph this, but I've never quite found the right place to uh, to shoot from. Now I've done, I had a couple of attempts and the first couple were pretty average, less than average. Um, and then I did a black and white, which was fairly successful. I quite like that image, but I don't think it quite does it justice. So um, this viaduct is fairly local to me and I drive past it quite a lot. And I think it deserves to be photographed because it's uh, a pretty major st structure in uh, in this kind of area of the country. The problem with photographing it is that depending on where you go, you can't really get a good view of it. Going up this way, behind me over here, there's not really a high up viewpoint to be able to photograph from. And then likewise over this way, so up on the hill over there is Seaton and you can kind of get up there but it's not a particularly great view you're kind of shooting along the bridge so i'm not sure about that way and then over there on the other side of the bridge off into the distance that has potential and then over on the other side you've got harringworth itself here and that has potential because there's a bit of a, a ridge up there and in fact that's where I shot the black and white image from. I'll put that up for you to see now. But the problem with photographing this bridge is that despite its size and imposing nature when you're actually here it just disappears into the landscape. So the only way of photographing it really is to get it at the right time of year with the sunrise or the sunset in the right direction and using that light to try and highlight the arches uh, from behind or floodlight the bridge from in front. So that's my plan. It's a glorious summer's day today. Uh, it's 25 degrees Celsius, the sun's out, it's a brilliant blue sky and I'm hoping that this evening there will be the potential for capturing this bridge once and for all. So where am I shooting from? Well the sunset is going to be over here somewhere. So complete opposite to that 180 degrees. Hopefully the sun will be setting and floodlighting the uh, the flat surfaces of the arches going that way. So to be able to pick that up, I need to be over there, 90 degrees from that, to be able to pick up that lighting. So that's my plan. Um, I've used photo pills to look at the direction of the light, and I think I've got my location as well. Now I've not been down there yet, so that's a job for this afternoon. So it's a bit of a scouting afternoon, scouting mission, just to go and see what I can find and hopefully come up with a plan for tonight. I've got the plan on paper, but the question is, will it work? So that's why I'm here just looking around for now. So this is where I shot the black and white image from. There's some kind of uh, Anglian water station and, uh, and the no two telephone mast here now but um, I just literally stood just over here somewhere and uh, and took the black and white image so there's no real access now well you could probably get down there but it's uh, it's a bit overgrown but um, that's where I shot that picture from but like I say it's it's a massive structure but it just disappears into the landscape so I'm not sure about this one anymore I'm not sure about this location, so let's move on and try something else. So here's another place that I've tried photographing from. Uh, the bridge, the, the uh, viaduct is uh, over there, Harringworth over there. So uh, 
the the uh, Welland Valley floor just um, just down here. Um, you know, I've I've walked everywhere around here. Uh, pretty much all the footpaths that I think might uh, give me a good uh, good place to to shoot from, but none of them really work. So um, the black and white image where I was a minute ago, just to show you, was there's the um, the O2 mobile phone mast right over there on the other side of the valley. So um, you're kind of shooting, well tonight you'll be shooting into sun for that, so that's not not really ideal. Um, although I haven't actually done that, it might be, might be worth a shot um, to get a silhouette maybe one day, but I don't know, I don't think it'll work. So, this is a bridleway that leads down to the uh, bottom of the valley. And this is my plan for tonight, so I'm going to give this a go. I've been looking at uh, Ordnance Survey maps, all sorts of things, uh, to try and find the best place to shoot from. Uh, images other people have taken um, and things like that. The thing is, uh, it's, it's a good... It's a good subject matter to try and take, um, and it's easy to take a photograph of the bridge of the of the viaduct itself. But for my landscape photography, I want to photograph the bridge in the landscape. So that means it's kind of got to be present and obvious, but it's got to be part of the picture. It's not got. It's. it's I don't want it as the picture. I want it as part of the picture. And I think that's the, the thing that I'm finding difficult to do. So anyway, just down at the, uh, down the bottom of this path, there is, according to Ordnance Survey Maps, a bridge. And I'm wondering if I can shoot from there. The problem is we're getting there, getting pretty close and there's quite a lot of trees in the way. So even down here, it's going to be difficult. So looking over here now, you can see Herringworth and you've got this massive structure, but it's just disappeared. You can just see a few arches there. So I don't know if this is going to work either. See what I mean? It's my nemesis. I'll take a stroll down to this bridge see if this is any better. There's a nice leading line. Can't really see too much of it. And again, I'm not getting the landscape. So I think this is yet another failed attempt at finding somewhere to photograph this viaduct from. So back up the hill again. Hard work on a day like today. Right, so I think this is the best vantage point for the light that I'm expecting tonight. Um, there's a lot of trees down there, but I can see quite a lot of the, of the viaduct. Um, I'm hoping that as the sun gets lower, it will bathe the other side of the Welland Valley in golden light. That'll be nice. And pick up the church spire and a few buildings in the village. Uh, but most crucially, light up the opposite side of the arches in, uh, in golden light. And that's what I'm hoping will make the, the viaduct stand out from the background. I mean, even here in, in the sunlight now, okay, the, the sun's on the wrong side. So this side of the viaduct is in shadow. But this massive structure just disappears into nothing. It's just amazing how it just disappears so I think that's the plan the sky is looking quite nice at the moment but anything could change before sunset so let's come back uh, what is it now it's just gone five o'clock let's come back here at about eight half past eight sunset is at half past nine tonight okay so welcome back to uh, the viaduct at Harringworth um, I come back in the evening and uh, the time is now 25 past eight and sunset is at uh, half past nine. 
Uh, the sun is getting low in the sky now and uh, as planned and as predicted, which I'm quite happy about um, using the photo bill, pill software, uh, suggested that the uh, far side of the vertical surfaces of the arches was going to be lit up by the setting sun and that's what I've got and um, pretty much for the first time uh, I've seen the viaduct like this with uh, with it being lit up so it actually stands out from the landscape which is quite good um, so I'm hoping that there's just a couple of wisps in the cloud they might in the uh, sky um, they might pick up a bit of pink lighting later on. So um, I'm going to set up my shot and, uh, and go from there. I think I'm probably going to do some kind of panoramic um, because I want the village of Haringworth in. I want the, uh, the far side of the valley in the picture going from left all the way around to right, just where the viaduct disappears um, into, the, uh, into the hillside. And, uh, and the railway actually disappears off over there somewhere as well. So that's my plan. I'm gonna set up the shot. Um, I'm gonna use my 70 to 200, so I'm probably gonna have it on 70 millimeters um, and do a set of vertical images to make up the panorama. So I'm gonna compose my shot, get sorted out on the, uh, on the camera, and uh, I'm waiting for sunset. So all in all, it's looking good so far. I've already taken a couple of panos. Time to get another one in the bag, I think. And literally just like that, in the space of a few seconds, while I, whilst I was mid pano, um, the sun has obviously dipped below a certain point, uh, below the hill over here, uh, the ridge line, the side of the valley, and the light is completely gone from the viaduct. So once again, it's just disappeared into the landscape, which is a shame. I was hoping I'd get a little bit more light than that, but um, well, I was shooting right up until the last minute until, uh, until the light disappeared off the viaduct. So I think I've got everything that I could possibly get, but I'll get these back to the computer, process them, and if the shot's any good, here it is. Mm -hmm. 